What's up guys, Anthony here and today we're gonna talk about the Canon EOS 1100D camera. It costs $300 and it's the entry-level Canon DSLR camera. Talking about specs, it's got a 12.2 megapixel camera, it's got a 9 point autofocus system and it's got a DIGIC, I suppose you read it, digit or something, for image processor. It's ISO range is between 100 and 6400 and it films videos at 720p at 30fps. Now for, I've been using this one for nine years now exactly when it came out in 2011 and I have no complaints other than the fact that the autofocus is extremely slow especially when filming a video. When I'm filming a video and I move an object or add another object it just want autofocus i have to stop it press this button right here to focus it and then continue filming the video which creates some un unnecessary and unwanted cuts but other than that i've been very satisfied with it it's also very user friendly and easy to use as you can tell um on the side here we have an hdmi out port it's a a smaller one than the one you use on your monitor then there's this um i don't know what kind of usb port it is but you use this one to transfer your um, camera uh, uh, pictures and stuff and then there's this port i believe it's for a microphone as standard it comes with a 18 to 55 millimeter camera and which i mean lens sorry which you can see yep yeah, this is it this is what it looks like yeah um other than that let's try turning it on right now it's in video mode there are various different modes like night mode sports micro landscape portrait some others tv av and this is the manual mode that you would probably most likely use if you're into photography and want to advance now we ha can notice that our aperture is at 22 our iso is at 400 and i can't see i guess let me see yeah this is the exposure and that's at four seconds let's try making it smaller there we go one fifth of a second and it goes all the way down to one four thousandth of a second and then you control this by moving this wheel right here and it goes up to let's see how far up it can go bolt 30 seconds and then bolt yeah the way you control the aperture is by holding this right here as you can see it moved and then you just move it it goes up to 29 and it goes all the way down to 4.5 iso is controlled by clicking on the upper arrow as you can see you can set it on auto or make it all the way up to 6400 although personally i've started noticing differences you know noise extra noise at around 1600 so i try not to use it above 800 or 400 whenever I shoot. Other than that, um, these are the zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can set your timer. This is where you click to start recording menu. Uh, yeah, there are various different options. Quality, ISO. This is for what, filming, recording? Autofocus, it's in quick mode, but it still is not quick live mode I should, I should try live mode but yeah uh live view shoot enable yeah these are all the different settings which you can check out just pause the video and you can see them and it's in manual mode all right when we open up the camera this is what it can see um it's very close so you can't tell anything but yeah that's the strap to put around your neck it has the model name on it and canon and yeah that's pretty much it this is what it looks like it's a little bit too bright now the way you can tell if something is too bright is this right here when you move it when you 
increase the shutter speed or decrease the shutter speed is going to move you want it to be in this middle dot right here um if we click on display we can see the various different settings we have uh, chosen for this picture click on it again we see the iso and click on it again it's gone auto focus they won't turn on yeah so this that's pretty much it for the camera guys thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you next time bye